and you go to see them? What, what happens? Well, it's a step-by-step, -step simple process in that where are they? What happened in the past? A lot of things have happened in the last three to five years. So we have ways to help them. You know, a lot of doctors, a lot of dentists have their practices and they're sole proprietors. And we show them, in addition to getting their loan, how to incorporate their entities properly right. to get them from an 8.9 or 8.7% loan down to a five and a quarter, 6.5% by going commercial. And that's what we do. That's very interesting. Do you, you go extensively into the background of the company? Is, is that what you do? Or we is do. that what the fund manager would do? The fund well, manager takes our paperwork yeah. and rechecks mm -hmm. verbally mm -hmm. on the phone. Mm -hmm. We deal directly with the fund manager. So therefore, the lender and our client Mr. Business Owner mm -hmm. talks directly to the fund manager. The person with the so money. The, the person with the money. So that we do a direct relationship. We sign a non-disclosure because you're going to learn our sources. Of course. So we, let, we have that little simple contract and everything else you're dealing directly. We're on the line sometimes, but we're absolutely mute and go forward from there. Well, that's pretty doggone interesting. What is the typical kind of loan that, that you know that you're asked to come up with? I mean, you talked about four hundred million dollars. <laughs> billion. Billion dollars. <laughs> I started to say billion, but I said no. You may be wrong on that. I, I, I mean, that's an unbelievable amount of money. But what's what's a typical kind of well, loan? Let me describe uh, three. Not me, but the three of us will. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a janitor who bid a job for the city. He won the bid. So when he got the bid. He didn't have the funds. He came to us. We made sure he had the funds to move forward. I think it was $300,000 at that point. And then later ended up loaning him $2 million to continue to expand. So there's a case of a janitor. Uh, and Rich, you have a, a situation yeah. as well. Well, uh, another one would be um, a gentleman um, came up with a food product that he sold on QVC the uh, network um, right. selling right. Mm -hmm. right. and uh, did very, very well, sold everything that he had. And then he came up on QVC again and he sold 10,000 more of his product. Well, uh, he didn't have the capital in order to go forward. So what he did is he came to us, we went ahead, took a look at it. We were able to get him going to where he could have whatever it was it, uh, needed to take care of those back orders. So. So you helped him out. We yeah, he sure was did. In a, he was in a pickle there. He was yeah. in a pickle, yeah. You have a story? Plenty of them. <laughs> <laughs> Give me one. Uh, a joint venture. Um, a gentleman was looking for some money for his biotech company. And uh, he went in looking for $8 million for Telomer Research, which is a very hot item in the biotech world right now. Okay. He's looking for $8 million. And by the time we got him to the fund manager, with the lender, and the underwriter, they approved and got him up to $40 million. Wow. With, with, the, with the hopes of the near future up to $300 million. So that, uh, that will be an ongoing process, I, I think. So this, this, the sky really is the limit here. If somebody really Absolutely. has the need and it's, it's valid and worthwhile, our minimum commercial loan is $100,000 okay. and no upper limit. We've done a lot of $30, $40 million ones, but our real average range is in the one to five, six, seven million. What do you think it is that sets your operation apart from other companies that are in this field? That's a good question, Doug. I think it's because we are the best and we'll go the extra mile to help people who are in need. How about you, Phil? Well, one thing we do have, uh, we're very large in funding uh, nonprofit organizations and churches and synagogues and uh, that nature. And we able right now, we have funds available for those types of institutions for 3%. That's dirt cheap. Dirt cheap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So well, we are here to help. Well, and uh, let's face it, uh, it's very rapid. The process is rapid. So if somebody needs uh, their funds more quickly, because we have private uh, funds available, we don't have to go through the traditional lending process. How much time are we talking about, uh, typically? 
Well, let's see. Four we'll to be, six weeks yeah. where SBA loans are 190. Very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, it's a fascinating story. Thank you very much for stopping by to tell us about it. Thank oh, you for asking. Appreciate it. Thank you for asking. Thank you. I'm William Shatner, and you're watching Moving America Forward. This organization represents companies across our great nation that embody the spirit, dedication, know-how, and can-do attitude which has made America the great nation it is today. And now let's present the Keeping America Strong Award. Now it's my honor to present this prestigious award to Ron Giannone for the outstanding work that his company, Real Funding Partners, is doing to help keep America moving forward. Ron, congratulations. Thank you, Doug, and we proudly accept this, and we thank you, Mr. Shatner, and your entire crew. You're very welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. That's it for another edition of Moving America Forward. I'm Bert Tenzer. Join us again as we continue to bring you the entrepreneurs who move America forward. I'm William Shatner, and for all of us at Moving America Forward, thanks for watching.